Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at using the autopilot. Now the autopilot is super simple to use but it, if you don't know how to use it it can be really frustrating because you'll find it will just turn itself off and sometimes it won't engage when you want it to engage. So you just have to learn the parameters. So we've only got two switches or buttons down here. We've got the engaging and disengage button down here that we're interested in and we've got the type of hold that we want. Altitude, altitude and heading and path. And as well as that, let's look at the buttons we may want to bind. So if we go in here, we type in LAAP, Low Altitude Autopilot. Bank hold the heading hold, the path hold. I wouldn't bother binding these, to be honest. I would just use the switch, but it's up to you. And we've got the Engage Disengage button, which I've got set to the A key there for easy use. So what I'll do is I'll press the um, selector toggle here for the mode and I'll just use the A instead of pressing that there. So the first thing is we're going to do our altitude hold and this is going to hold our barometric altitude. The parameters are that the aircraft must have a pitch of less than three degrees positive and more than three degrees minus. So for instance if I were to, that's my path vector there, that's the five degree pitch line there. So if I was up that's me climbing at five degrees and if I try to turn the autopilot on in this condition in altitude it doesn't work if it works I would get a ping sound and I'm not getting that ping and it would also show an autopilot sign on the bottom left of the HUD and it's not showing so it's currently not working the reason is because I'm above three degrees pitch so I'm gonna move my path vector this chap here down below three degrees so let's do about two degrees something like that and we should be able to get it this time so we're in altitude we're gonna press it that same as pressing the A key and that's on and you can tell it's on because we've got the beep and we've got the altitude hold there now that's going to hold my altitude until I put some serious stick movement in so I'm going to pull back I'll show you there pull back on the stick now warning autopilot it's telling me that the autopilot has disengaged and it's disappeared from there so it's no longer no longer engaged now the interesting thing about the altitude hold option is that it will work if you have high or relatively high levels of bank so the use of that may be let's just get ourselves back down here okay and you will it's a good idea to trim yourself nice and neutral before turning on the autopilot it just makes it easier to turn on so i'm going to turn a bank level of that and i'm going to press the a key and because we're with, we were within the pitch limits it's now holding us at this altitude here but at this bank the bank of where I press the button and the use of this is I can now I know you can't see very well because we're over the sea but it's going to allow me to safely circle around a target and this is probably the most useful one for you because um, when you're using your TGP and whatnot you want to be in an orbit a nice safe orbit now I say it's safe just take one just take one note it will keep your lateral movements your pitch and, and and roll whatnot it does not control your speed or your throttle that's still under manual control so it is still possible where you're concentrating on a target out here to actually stall your aircraft if you haven't got sufficient throttle that's especially important when we go on to the path hold so just bear that in mind I've stalled plenty of times um, on the autopilot in this okay so we're gonna turn this mode off we're gonna neutralize neutralize ourselves roughly Next we're going to do the altitude and heading, so it holds the barometric altitude and the current heading that you're on when you press the autopilot button. The conditions are, you have to be within the same pitch limit, so not more than 3 degrees or minus 3 degrees ascent or descent, and you cannot be more than 10 degrees roll to put this mode on. So I'm going to get myself nice and neutral at 340 there, heading, and that on, press the A. You can hear it's engaged itself, altitude heading there, and that's it. It's going to hold us at the heading that we've got there until we run out of fuel, essentially. Again, just watch your speed to make sure that the speed is good. So I cancel that. I can even turn it off with the A key again, or I can just cancel Warning, it autopilot. by moving the stick like that. Right, on to our last one, which is the path hold. So the path hold is, when we turn it on, it's going to hold our heading and the pitch that we have when we engage it. So... It will allow me to, for instance, hold my current heading at 340 and a climb of 10 degree pitch when I get my uh, velocity vector uh, path vector there. So I'm going to do that there, path and ping. You can see it allowed it even though I was at high pitch. So you're allowed up to a maximum of 10 degrees roll before it will engage. So you don't want to be at a high level of roll, but you can be at more or less any pitch you want. Now, especially important to remember that it's not going to control the thrust. And if you put it into a climb, you've got to sort the thrust out yourself. 
as it'll easily stall itself. So I'm full throttle now and I'm still decelerating. So this pitch with my current weight is just too much pitch and I would eventually stall out. So I'm going to turn that off, go to a more sensible climb rate, one that I can maintain there, path hold on there and now it's going to keep me at that three degrees or whatever. Uh, simple as that. So as long as you know those parameters, what cancels it, what conditions you're allowed to turn it on, what it can control, what it can't control, then it's just a really, really good autopilot all round. I hope that helps and see you later.